all of you that have shown worry and concern. I want to let everyone know I am alive, I am well, and I am not hospitalized in any way. Now, this is the background of my testimony. This morning, as my culture is, I will wake up very early, somewhat around 3 a.m., between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m., and I would generally take a one to two hour prayer work in my vicinity, which is a major road where I stay. So I have been doing this for the past few years, you know, just taking this prayer work. Something different happened this morning, around 4.30 there, but I'm not exact of the time because it happened so fast. I was walking back and I, you know, I was walking back, my phones were in my left hand. I had this earpiece put in my right ear and um, put in my right ear because I was kind of listening to some, the word of God as I prayed on the road. I do a prayer work. And just right there, I saw in front of me a bike station. The bike is a motorcycle and a guy that seemed to be somewhere that maybe bothered the bike and they were having uh, some kind of argument. I saw them like, you know, just like two or three, two minutes just ahead of me in the walk, maybe a minute walk. I'm not sure it's up to two minutes because it was something about 10 or 15 steps. I'm not, you know, it happened so fast. So some of the details is just how I felt emotionally. So as I walked to them, I mean, I just kind of scooped beside them and, you know, just walked that way. All of a sudden, the guy that was arguing, the other guy was on the bike, just grabbed me by the right hand. And when he grabbed me by the right hand, he literally just said, give me your phones and give me your wallet. At this time, my phone's on my left hand, just for security. I never put my phones on my right hand on the side of the road I am, I put on the left hand. So I'm going this way. He said, give me your phones, give me your wallet. And, you know, I thought he was trying to bully me in the first place. So I said, why? And when I said why, the guy just kind of dipped his hand in his pocket with the other hand and just brought out his gun. And he brought out his gun. And when he brought out his gun, you know, thinking back, I just believe that the faith of God took a hold of my spirit. And when he brought out his gun, I did not premeditate this because if I did, my life is more important than a phone. I'll probably have just given him my phone. And when he brought out his phone, I just said... In the, I just did a big shout. And when I say in the name of Jesus Christ, I normally would raise up my hand. I just said in the name of Jesus. And as I did that and pulled my hands down, I kind of snapped his hands, um, his hands off my wrist. And when I did that, he just took the gun and just shot at me. All I could remember, he shot at me, jumped on the bike and the bike drove off. All I remembered was that I had this huge noise. I knew that there was a gun shot at me. The, of course, the gun blast and the huge noise within my right ear, which was just where it was. And, you know, I walked to, there was a mall close by, I walked there. And when I walked there, you know, I just asked the security guard, please, can you check my back? Am I bleeding anywhere? Is, is, is there any pallets? You know, because, I, you know, it was almost as if I knew gun was shot at me, you know. And that is the story of my deliverance. And the, the guy checked me and said, oh, yeah, okay, there's no gun. And you must understand this. How does someone go three or four meters or five meters away from you and shoot at you and miss you. If I, one of my friends from the U.S., when I shared with him, told me, he said that, I don't believe the guy missed you. I believe that he shot at your head, but the Spirit of God revealed to him an angel was there that diverted the bullet. You know, there are just many things to say. And the reason I'm putting out this video is firstly to let everyone know I'm safe and I've been delivered by the angel of God. And to tell people this, please take a moment Take a moment and thank God for me because I could have been the mortuary right now with a bullet right in my head. You know, I, I look back, when I came back home for like one hour, I felt the vibration. Of course, everybody around me knew the gun was shot. And you know, when I got back, you know, it was amazing because it was the year he shot that I had this earpiece inside. I, I didn't even, I didn't even realize the earpiece was inside. If the earpiece was not in my ears, maybe my ears will have further amount of damage. You know, it's amazing because two things are very amazing about this. Number one, before I left the house this morning, I was going to give thanks to God. And one of the affirmative prayers I prayed was that God said, what are you thankful for today? And I'd just done some medical tests, just checking up my body, you know, for the first time in a long time. And, you know, I just felt to God that, oh my goodness, Lord, thank you for good health. The doctor ran all manners of tests on my body, nothing significantly wrong with my body, nothing that requires some medication. I say, Lord, I'm thankful. So this morning around 3 a.m., I was just saying, Lord, I'm thankful for life and health, not knowing that that prayer was prophetic because in the next few minutes, I will be attacked by, you know, literally death. And my wife was saying to me that just 
a day before she had a huge urge to pray against that. And this is also the reason why I'm saying this. God is good and kind. Sometimes you will feel an urge to pray, to make a confession, to do something. And you wouldn't even know that God is just setting you up in prayer for something ahead of you. You may not even notice when it comes and goes because it's not as dramatic as my own. So I'm taking a moment to just thank everyone. I will post a video attached to this one telling you the exact story, how this happened and how I was in the moment. Watch it. Please put in the comment section, thank you, Jesus, for this miracle. Because this didn't happen because I'm the man of God. I have great faith and I'm a pastor and I'm holier than thou and righteous. This is just the grace and the mercy of God. And for those that have experienced loss, I, our ghosts have gone through this in some other way. You know, I know you know the pain and anguish that comes through this. And that's why I'm saying that, thank God, that God showed me his grace. Listen, I'll teach about this later on today. Tomorrow, Next Level Prayer, we're going to spend time thanking God and just praying over this. I'm grateful. I hope you're grateful for me. Thank you for listening and God bless you.